Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly, AnimatorsForum.com and Real Illusion Forum. I, um, so somebody was asking about the Genesis uh, Super Suit. We, we've talked about Super Suits in the past, and uh, they have some real issues. And one of the workarounds is to, uh, they have issues with fingers, and um, I've, I've talked about that, and you can apply gloves, but applying gloves doesn't always work. But let me show you a few things about, about this. This is the Daz Super Suit brought in here on the Genesis figure. And we'll leave it at basic cloth. We're going to just show you the cloth um, possibilities here. First of all, you should understand that any time you have a suit that completely covers your figure, as this does, you need to hide or, or the underlying um, person. Uh, there's no point in having an underlying person that could possibly poke through there. You can say, well, Mike, but you could fit this. Yeah, but there's no point. Uh, you're never going to see his butt sticking through unless, I guess, he has a rip in the suit or something. So <laughs> you, you could do it that way. But but what you want to do is go to your mesh and, um, you know, go to edit, edit your mesh. And then uh, in the um, face, you want to select ignore back faces and just select everything and just have that. Uh, hidden so that you don't have any poke through and the same thing if you if you have gloves and arms like this to you want to you want to hide all that and uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go to great lengths or talk about that more than just to say that in any time you have a base mesh that's not going to be seen underneath you want to hide it you just you just do now you might say well and that solves the problem then right because once it's hidden although I didn't uh, apparently didn't did I not hide that part of it Let's, let's try that again. Edit mesh. The face. Ignore back faces is fine. Select that. Am I on the yeah, I'm on the base. Hide. That should hide those. Okay, there we go. Alright. So um when when you have them hidden, and I didn't hide the ones up here, but you get the idea. So if you go to a pose, you might say, well then that solves the problem. The suit is brought in and the faces are hidden and everything's great. The problem is with the fingers, when you apply a pose, the pose is posing the fingers as if they were in that particular position they were in to begin with, and the glove fingers don't fit right. So, uh, if I'm trying to explain this properly here. So if we, if we look at the pose, you can see that it messes up. You can see, because the, even, even with the, the mesh hidden, and obviously I didn't hide all this mesh under here, but even with the mesh hidden, the fingers get all messed up on that, on the pose. So, so hiding the mesh won't, you don't see any skin showing in here, but still the pose doesn't work properly. So what you really have to do is have those fingers conform properly, just the way everything else conforms. So you notice we have the hidden, we've hidden the, uh, the feet and they're fine. Uh, but the fingers obviously aren't. And again, I, w I didn't hide all this mesh, but we would go ahead and hide all that. So what do we do? Well, we can bring it in the gloves, and I've showed you that. The problem with bringing it in as a, as a glove is that then the fingers will work, but the rest of it won't work. And I'm going to show you that really quick because it's a very fast process, so it won't, it won't take a long time to show you. Uh, we'll, we'll change that cloth to gloves. And now, as we bring that in, okay, and now you can see that the, the feet aren't matching up. And you might say, well, we can hide those too. The, the gloves match up perfectly, okay? And we can now apply that same pose, and you'll see that the, the hands are, are perfect, but, but the feet aren't matching up at all. So you can see the hands are perfect. So even if we hid the mesh, properly uh the 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 rest of the body wouldn't wouldn't conform okay so how do we get around this well one possibility is that we can go to daz and we can apply two super suits to it so what i did here in this scene let's see if we can bring this over i have so many here we go a lot of monitors so basically i took oh, also i should tell you you got to apply make sure you apply your t-pose properly to this and that comes with your uh, with your character creator. So you apply the T-pose first, and then you, you apply the bodysuit. So I've got two suits, suit one and suit two. Okay, applied to this. And I've exported this as suits. So now we're going to go ahead and transform her and bring those suits in. And go into super suits. Where are my super suits? 
And one of the super suits, I think you probably understand, one of the super suits we're going to bring in is the cloth, and one we're going to bring in is gloves. So basically, we're, we're covering our bases. We're going to have one that fits properly for the gloves and one that prints properly for the rest of it. And then you just, because the super suits are built to hide different portions of them, we can then um, hide the portions we don't need. So, so in the first super suit, which we know is, is the, the, um, the basic body shape, we can go into the textures. And here we can go ahead and uh, select the fingers and the hands. We'll go ahead and select, eh, we can, I don't know, we, we can select the arms too, that's fine. We'll let the we'll let the glove shape be all the arms. Same same thing. But basically, we select these things here and combine the textures like that. And then we go ahead and then just make the opacity um, zero. So now you see that everything fits really nicely. It lines up really good there. And the same thing goes with the other one, which you know you might want to name just so you you know, have some amount of sanity. You might, you might want to name your your textures that way so you can tell which is which. But on the gloves, we're going to do everything else. So we're going to take the, uh, the shorts and the feet and the knees and the waist and the neckline, I guess, torso, I guess. Combine those all into one. And then we're going to take that and we're going to turn the opacity down on that. So suddenly everything fits. So now if we go ahead and, and again to the, uh, what we always want to do is we want to go to Edit Mesh and hide all of the text you know, faces that are behind the suit, the man behind the suit. Hide. So we don't want anything poking out of the suit. Hide. And hide. I think we got everything, but we may have missed a few, but you'll get the idea. I don't want to go and spend a lot of time on this. And now, yeah, see, we missed a few, but that's all right. You get the idea. Figure out that we've got everything hidden. So at this point, then we go to, to a pose pose and we'll take that um, that again that male pose here and now everything fits the fingers now align up and the, the back and again we have to hide those faces underneath but, but I don't want to go through that process you understand how to do that so that's how you can you can make even a super suit work is um, is combine super suits and then you got it so hopefully this is helpful to at least that one guy that was trying the Genesis super suit and to anybody else, if you have your super suit, you have to put your super suit on and get it to fit properly.